Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog. So in this video we are going to move the horses to the new stable and we are going to uh, unbox a lot of things that I have ordered online so I think it's gonna be exciting. I'm just about to make some breakfast and as always I am going to make oatmeal with an uh, apple and then I'm going to prepare myself some lunch for the table. I'm going to bring with me a pack of Oreo cookies and a pack of strawberries and also some beef fajitas. This is going to be quite a long day. It's better to be prepared. I'm ready to go. So we are going to start with moving some things to the new stable. And then at 12 o'clock, we are going to take the horses. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing some pink glittery converse. I'm wearing my Eva tights in gray and this pro horse sweater that i have cropped i have a burberry scarf and this um, louis vuitton bag custom made for me with my name on it which contains my lunch i have arrived in the stable and me and nicole are going to move stuff to the trailer and pick up the car the mercedes on the um, garage since i had a flat tire this weekend and at 12 o'clock we are going to take the horses with the truck. Yay! Moving the stuff to the trailer! Of stuff. And oh yes. I'm ready to drive. And then we're gonna take the horses after. We have arrived at the new stable, as you can see, and we are just gonna pack everything out. We are going to go and pick up Duke. Yay! Yay! are on and the guys are getting ready to leave. Here comes Jill. trailer with Duke. Hey Duki. The horses are inside and I'm getting an ice cream. the truck and in the new boxes and it's time for us to sort all the rest of the stuff Duke is already outside Alf is wondering if he dares to go outside 
Prince also like just checking out what his new place is. Let's see what Mario does. Mario's still inside, a bit shocked. And so is Jill too. Oh my god, now I'm on a very spooky outfit. Just wanted to ride a little bit on Alf and Pixu, my two most fresh horses, before I go home. Ho ho Alf! So, uh, I just finished riding on Alfie. He was rather tense, but it went okay. And now I'm on my way out with Pixu. I have to say that packing out has gone good. Uh, we have still some like final things to do tomorrow. But all in all, like it has taken some time, but me and Nicole have done a really good job, I have to say. I took Pixie's jumping bridle on today because there's a lot of wind here and they seem to be really fresh. So I thought it was a good idea to put this on to have a good control. You can really see the wind. Okay, and Nicole have worked for hours with packing out. So we're almost done. It's gonna get better tomorrow, then we're gonna like fix everything. But this is how we have come so far. This is the locker with the saddles, and here we have like some cleaning products for the horses. My pack box is here. This is the guy from the monster factory. I don't know what we're gonna do with him, but he's here anyway. And then over here, all the bridles are. And you know, all the things with the rugs and stuff. We are going to perfect it tomorrow and like over here we have some, what you would call that, hoof oil or hoof grease. And uh, yeah, basically we are going to perfect it tomorrow and then I'm going to show you more. So now I'm back home and I have showered. I'm wearing this um, skirt from Givenchy or Givenchy, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it and Arsenal top and my Converse sneaker slippers, slippers. <laughs> and I'm going to go outside and pick up some packages that I have ordered online. Like I don't know if you remember but in the last video I was um, shopping online and the packages have been delivered but we want to be really safe here so I let the packages stay outside until the day after just to make sure that they're in case the, like the delivery man or somebody like you made a sneeze on them i thought that like that's a better idea to just like leave them outside going to pick them up okay so here the packages are you waiting outside tonight for me this is outside our house Okay, so let's start the unboxing and the first packet is from Safir Boutique in Italy. I have already cut it open and now I'm excited. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see. Oh my God, look at this one guys. The details on the inside and let's try it on super cute i think big thumbs up okay i think these are some hair products that i have ordered because with my hair I'm really specific. I use a lot of different products in it. Like I use cheap brands, I use expensive brands just because I feel that I need to change brand for every hair wash because every brand does, uh, you know, different things. So to be sure that my hair gets all the nutrition it needs, I'm like changing every hair wash. So here I have ordered some stuff from Redcam 
and also some like extreme line sealer so yay red can hair product and over to the next one so for this part of the hold i thought i'm just gonna try the clothes on so you can see them uh because i actually forgot to film when i opened it and i had forgotten one bag outside so anyway this is a set from Kensu. it's from the children's department it's size 10 or 12 years old i think it's like super cute quarantine clothes and just like being cozy inside so nice so this is a set from um, Roberto Cavalli I think it's like perfect for summer perfect for going to the beach and yeah so I have paired them with a pair of uh, Louis Vuitton uh, sandals I don't know if you can see them but I think this set is really really cute and very summery So this set is also from um, Roberto Cavalli and I honestly don't know about this set if you guys think it's my style or not so feel free to comment uh, in the comments down below what you think I think it's normally supposed to be like that but I don't know if this actually looks good on my body it's very strange because I don't wear pants a lot uh, if I would wear it I would probably like wear it more like this like low waist but does it does this even fit me like how do i look like please comment like what do you guys honestly think about this set like okay guys so this one i really really love this one is from dolce gabbana and i think it's just stunning I'm pairing it with a pair of Jimmy Shoe Vitter shoes and oh, I love it! Perfect for like Christmas or New Year's or holidays or pff, any party actually. So this top is also from Dolce and the cigar too but it's actually an old one and i think this top is just so gorgeous when i saw it i knew that it was gonna be perfect for this skirt and i think it looks really good i'm excited to hear what you guys think perfect for parties for holidays then it's this top also from dolce gabbana and i actually think it's really beautiful i paired it with this gucci skirt i don't know if, like if this was a good combination please comment down below feels like it may have been better like to have a skirt that is just white so leave your comments what you think I can pair this top with other than that I think the top is really beautiful this is my last item for this haul it's also from Dolce Gabbana this top actually and I think it's very beautiful I don't know if perhaps my boobs are a little bit too small for it that maybe I need to get it altered anyway i think it looks really good with this gucci skirt so i would say that this is definitely an outfit but perhaps that uh, like a situation needs to be made here let me know what you think guys good morning guys this is an exciting day because it's the first day like a normal day with the horses in the new stable so now i'm just gonna pack my lunch in my new machine bag and then i'm gonna go so i'm excited to like all of the things like even mocking out and um, yeah having the new routine in the new stable anyway so this is what i'm gonna bring for lunch i'm going to bring a tzeltar salad i'm going to bring of course a pepsi max i'm going to bring a protein pudding pack of small bananas and a bag of chips Okay, ready to go. And by the way, like, have you like have you seen my outfit? How nice it's matching. It's like I'm wearing the XS in the blue um, gem brushes, so they are extra low waist. You know, the S would come up here, 
And then I'm like matching everything with the Dior monogram. washing place i have made this myself so we can tie the horses up here and here i have hanged up like this kind of ikea things with uh something to wash their feet in a magic brush to wash their feet with and some like things uh, from hotels that we can wash them with and on this side yeah it's also like an improvised thing but it works. It was a little bit too difficult to stand up there and make the hay trades in a plate. So then I just did like that. And this is how it looks like. Me and Arti are in the outdoor and he's looking at the horses that are in the park here. He thinks it's very interesting, but at least he's a lot more calm today than he was yesterday because yesterday he was so stressed so he's starting to settle down a little bit which is good Come. he's so suspicious Come, Arty. He's like, there is something there. I think there are some cows or something. He's like, wow. What is that? You got anyone? I have just let the horses out. And now I'm ready to go and have lunch with my brand new backpack from Nog Mogini that you can buy at the Safir store. Way out with Mario and Nicole is clipping Duke. I mean, wow, look at this, it's insane. Look under his belly, Duke. What's happening? It's getting extreme makeover. Yeah. Mario and Jill are just chilling. I really love it that we can open some of the boxes like this, and also the horses have that terrace outside. So now I will have to say that me and Nicole basically have gotten the stable on the system that we want. The treadmill is for the moment here, but it's going to move under the roof over there together with that uh, tractor so that the horses don't have to walk outside in the rain. And now let's go inside and look at the stable and the pack. Okay, I'm just going to put on the light so that we can see even better. Just want that one. That one, yeah. So here we have all the breastplates, the martingale of the horses, the sprint pick to ask Queen, Mario and Jill. Everybody's like hanging so perfect. Uh, Duke doesn't have a martingale, so he doesn't need one. I want to keep his head up, so there's no, no martingale there for him. And I mean, you have already seen the work in progress with the rug, but now it's like perfection. 
We have put um, this one over here to like protect the other saddle pads because sometimes it flows in a lot of sand. Here are like the bridles of the horses. Like Duke has a lot when he's jumping. He has like Duke little gag, Duke twisted, Duke double twisted, Duke twisted gag. And here is Queen's jumping bridle. And here is like uh, I'll jump home, I'll jump show. Jill jump metal, Jill jump rubber, the question mark bridal, some bridles for Prince and Pixie, some bridles that we are not using right now. This is Shambor's old bridal, very sentimental. And this guy is the bridal of my old pony. I still have it. This one I got <clears throat> when I was 12 years old. Yeah, and this is his Martin Gulf. I remember well, my mother had been on a, like a trip to Oslo and I really wanted a bridal with a Mexican nose band because that was so cool and you know I still love it and she brought me this home and I was so happy and this I think I got for Christmas the year when I was 14 because I really really wanted a stupid martingale with white rings and I got it so that was like the best Christmas present ever and uh, down here we like have a lot of bits that we are not using right now and over here are the dresser bridal. So normal snapper, normal snapper, and this is the dresser bridal of Alf and Mario. This one I use uh, with uh, Queen and Jill a lot. Uh, here is my tech box. Here is some chairs that we can chill out in. Uh, this is Nicole's helmet. <laughs> and some head colors. Here is like shampoo, papers. Uh, the monster has moved over here. And in this here, I have like, uh, you know, a Barbie that like is basically me when I shrink by the gypsy. And uh, oh my god, legs are straight up. I cannot wish that some guys come in here and get horny when they see that. Okay, and here is actually a miniature duck that his old groom has made for him, Christina, she loves duck and this one looks exactly like him uh, saddle girls, saddles and over there is uh, the fly bow nuts so let's go down and check out the rest of the stable so all of the horses have boxes with these little carriages and um, some of them have uh, we have not had time to pick up like this for everybody, but that is the plan so they can look into the stable too. And here is Alfie. And down here we have Mario. He has something like that. So when the coronavirus thing is over, we're going to buy more like this so everybody can have it. Behind you here are our wheelbarrows. Uh, down here is our hay and then it's like out that way to the outdoor and I showed you the washing plate yesterday. <laughs>